What is up everybody? It is Drew, Traveler of the Burning Bus here with another video. Uh, I spent most of the day watching the YCS. Uh, interesting event, still not happy with the fact that we have uh, so many fire decks running around, but uh, we did have, in my opinion, what is one of the, uh, in at least recent history, best and most back and forth finals that I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, that that labyrinth versus snake eyes match was just phenomenal um really really good game of Yu Gi Oh. Uh, love to watch it but i've kind of decided that uh most of the videos on my channel granted you know i am well known for kind of doing decks that are a little off the the beaten path of the meta uh, i've kind of decided that almost everything is going to be more uh you know like tier two to rogue level um even though i do have everything for labyrinth um but uh, outside of that it's going to be all like you know tier two rogue stuff and um planning on soon hopefully being able to upload some uh retro format stuff too so we'll have like goat we'll have um edison maybe like some hat format or something um so yeah but today as you can see we're going over sprite and i'm excited to show you this variation because this is my favorite way to play sprite it's been my favorite way to play sprite since mystic mine was around so it's been a minute but i'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly uh how i enjoy playing this deck myself all right so we will start with the main deck the sprite names i play three blue three jet uh, this is pretty standard. I don't see any lists really playing anything different unless it's like a like a runic evil twin live twin variant or something where there's not enough space. Um, so three and three. And then to make things interesting, I play two red, two carrot, and one pixies. I know this seems really odd because um, a lot of people play like one, one, and sometimes one or two, one, zero. Um, but I, I really like this and... There is a reason for it. I, I want to see names in this particular list. That's why. So I do up uh, by like, you know, basically one to two sprite names because um, I do want to see them. And it's good for, for follow up too because having the monster negate and spell trap negate is amazing. Uh, Pixies is good for pushing damage. On top of that, you don't have to just send it from hand, you can send it from field. So if you gamma burst, uh, an attack with this that's 28 and then you can send it from the field and still boost one of your other sprite cards so uh yeah pixies is actually ridiculous uh so those are all the sprite names then i play the nimble package so uh three beaver two angler this is obviously pretty phenomenal um I don't think there's too much else to say this does what it does helps you extend um yeah really good stuff and the last uh, two that I play is one Meow Mine. Uh, I don't think you need more than one for this variation. Um, it's more so like if it comes up, it comes up. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but it is something you can summon off of Gigantic, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you have to send it off of Sprint, you could also send it off Sprint, but that doesn't really happen often. Uh, honestly, this card doesn't come up super often at all, but it's, it's not a bad card to have. Uh, then the other monsters, Triple Fenrir, um yeah this card's really really good just being able to banish a monster is solid um so yeah really good card uh then for the sprite spells uh three starter and one gamma burst um yeah those are all the the like more engine based cards the rest is all of our non-engine um so three shifter little spoiler alert you'll see it once i get to the next card but uh this is blind second uh we are not going first with this deck we're going second we're trying to otk which i figured some people might have picked up from the fact that i'm playing only uh starter and gamma burst um which is another reason i i mentioned wanting to see more sprite names because it just helps you extend further um so three shifter if you draw shifter usually like your opponent is gonna like have to pass uh so yeah i think this card is phenomenal in the deck you don't need your graveyard um there's so many things you can do to otk without having to do like an angler line so um yeah really really good then all the power spells we have three mine con 
uh, three talents. This is something that I kind of want to cut down to two, but um, I don't really have a, um, a 40th card in mind right now. So uh, I'm kind of going with the, the third talents until I figure out what I want to play. Uh, two lightning storm because whether you're getting rid of monsters or spells and traps, it's still a good card, uh, especially since we're going second, one blinding second. Uh, then one change of heart and one snatch steal for the other stealing cards. Um, these are obviously good cards, like for the purpose of the deck. Um, it's basically like you're playing a different variation of Sky Striker. Like that's how this deck kind of functions. It can OTK, which Sky Striker doesn't OTK that much. Um, you know, blind second sprite, its whole goal is to OTK. So uh, you want to be able to steal those monsters. And then some more extenders, uh, one monster reborn and one instant fusion. You'll see what I have in the extra deck for this uh, when we get to it. Um, the other option that I in included before, which would put the talents down to two copies is a copy of ready fusion. Um, and you'll play as I said, you'll see why when we get to the extra deck and I'll kind of talk about it there. And then lastly, one called by, um, it's good against, you know, anything that's graveyard reliant. So, uh, yeah, really, really good card. Then, uh, yeah, that's the, the main deck should be a flat 40. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on over to the extra now. Okay. So extra deck, uh, starting off one sprint, you don't need more than that. Uh, one is perfectly fine. Uh, one SP and one IP. The IP is in case, uh, you know, like your opponent makes you go first or something, you at least have, you know, something else to uh, end on, which, you know, can be an interruption on their turn because you can IP with one of your cards and then make SP. Uh, so yeah, it's not, not terrible. Uh, one Hida and one Dark, these do come up. Um, you know, and it helps you with a lot of stuff because if you have extra bodies, you can, you know, take one of their cards and then with your extra card, you can make like a sprint and then you can sprint dump um, and just have more cards on field. So yeah, Hida and, and Dark are pretty good. And then I play a Cerberus and a Phoenix. Um, they're spot removal, which is nice. So like, that's kind of what I wanted them in there for. Um, yeah, I don't have much else to say. I feel like People aren't playing these as much, but um, in testing, it seems to be to be doing okay at the minimum. So uh, they're always, I mean, since the cards have come out, they've been they've been decent at least. Moving on to XYZs though, uh, two gigantic, one soul sweeper, one mannequin cat, uh, and one mosquito ninja for the uh, the twos. I think that. For the most part this is all pretty standard um i'll be perfectly honest i am not a huge fan of mannequin cat i never have been um it's just one of those cards that i just don't like i think there's so many other cards that for me are better uh and worth making but i have the mannequin cat in there anyways so i just leave it where it is uh then next we just have the rank up into the zeus which is our down and zeus package this is kind of common uh, and then lastly, the instant fusion target, uh, all vain the essence of vanity. It's a level two. So like if you open instant fusion and blue, you get to summon this. Uh, the reason I thought about doing the ready fusion too is because I would cut the mannequin cat for um, um, level four super poly target that everybody plays. Um, Mud dragon, there we go, mud dragon. Um, so like that way you can play the mud dragon out with instant fusion too that way it kind of like helps counter fire decks and whatnot um so like if you wanted to cut one talents and put in uh ready fusion you still have the ready fusion for this and you still have the instant fusion for the mud dragon um but that was just an idea that i was kind of toying around with it probably isn't the best idea but it's you know it's something uh, but i wanted to have that extra st extender with the instant fusion and there have been times where it has, you know, really, really worked out. So I really can't complain too much, uh, but that is the extra deck. I'm gonna move on over to the side deck now so you can see what games two and three look like. All right, so we have to start things off, Ibli. This has always just kind of been 
played. Uh, if you don't want to play it, you can play a bunch of other cards like Soul Scissors. Um, there's probably a bunch of other cards too. But yeah, one Ibley. Uh, one Red Resonator for a time because burning is pretty nice. Um, yeah, gotta, gotta love that burn. And then uh, three Cosmics for back row decks alongside uh, Feather Duster. Um, so basically you can have three Lightning Storm, three, I'm sorry, two Lightning Storm, three Cosmic and one Feather Duster in your deck at any given time, uh, which is pretty good. And then the cards for going first that we side in, uh, three deck lockdown card is bonkers. Um, like if you set up your board going first, your opponent is going to struggle with that already and then add deck lockdown to the mix and it just gets even better. Um, then... Smashers and Double Cross for when we go first uh, because they're really good cards going first. Uh, going second, not as much. Like Smashers isn't bad, but it's still like not great going uh, second. Then uh, the one anti-spell because like you flip this and you just kind of auto win. Uh, and then lastly, three Judgment because uh, basically what happens is you have to have a good amount of cards to side out uh, all of your uh, like blind second power spells. So just to give you like an example. Um, so we keep we keep the called by in, we keep the instant fusion in. Uh, Monster Reborn is debatable. Um, sometimes it's worth stealing their cards, which is really why we're playing it. So I might like cut Reborn, Snatch Steal, uh, Change of Heart, Lightning Storms, probably one talent uh, to keep two in because there is a lot of hand traps. Uh, and three mind cons so you're losing three four five six seven eight nine uh nine cards that are worth siding out if you think your opponent is going to make you go first or if you want to throw them off and go first um so nine cards and we have one two three four five six uh seven eight nine going first for sure and then Resonator and Ibley can also be considered in that. If they're not playing like a spell heavy deck, you can take out the anti-spell instead and do the Ibley. Um, and that obviously works too. So yeah, the, we have ratios set up a certain way for a reason, uh, which is why, you know, we have the ability to side those cards out. Uh, you always want to make sure that you do have uh, everything set up in a way that does make sense to where your ratios that you're subbing in uh, line up with the cards that you're subbing out. So uh, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to explain, but hopefully everybody enjoyed the deck profile and you get to go and try this uh, deck out. It is very, very fun and it does OTK uh, fairly, fairly easily. Gamma Burst is really and truly one hell of a card. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button uh, and leave a comment down below about your favorite deck this format. And for right now, this is Drew Traveler of the Burning Abyss signing out.